are doing it. We are doing it. Ah, waiting for it to come here so I can mute this one. Boop. Muted. Done it. We're live. Uh, give everybody a little bit to come in. So, so we haven't done a live in a while. We have not. What are we doing here, though? Uh, when we were in Scotland at our tasting, uh, Jez, Jez Body. Right. Uh, we met him at the tasting in Glasgow. At Good Spirits Company. Yes. Right, boy, I'm pulling stuff up. You right are. Now. You're doing good. <laughs> uh, Jez is part of the London uh, Whiskey Club, and he brought us uh, the Bimber Distillery. Dram Man is coming in. Christopher Malloy is coming in. Mm. He's saying, who's handsome? handsome? Well, I think he's, he's talking, talking to, to himself. me. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchez. Lewis is in. Well, I tell you what, someone's thinking about me because my nose is itching. Right. Oh, there's Jez's body hey, right there. Hey, we were just talking about We were Jez. just talking about you, Jez, and That's the right. uh, Bimber Distillery. We were sitting here, we were talking about going live. We were looking, what do we want to go live with? And I said, you know, we got this yep. little sample set Put here on there uh, that you gave us when we met at uh, the Good Spirits Company. This is a nice little um, sample pack with a cool little note. It's got some of their white dog in there. And then uh, four other samples, which are uh, single malt London whiskey, single malt, oh, cask number, single malt London whiskey, uh, cask, or yeah, cask number seven, cask number 38, cask number 26, and cask number 33. And they got a new make peated and just a regular new make, which oh. is cool. Let's just start with, um, actually, they've got a virgin, X sherry, X sherry, and virgin. I'm going to give you the X sherry, the, okay. or the X virgin. Good. That's what you like is the virgins. <laughs> no. I will take the X sherry. Good call. Single malt. We'll share um, glass. We'll share. Victor E is tuning in. Vaughn Fenson, Travis oh, Wooler, Doug Crisso, Claire the Third, Sunny C. Listen. And Travis Wooler, nice. Chad Wallace. Jez points Ooh. out that this was a gift from Bimber. Oh. Uh, and actually a little note from Bimber Distillery. Hi, I hope that you enjoy our samples. Please note that we will be releasing cask seven as a single cask this year. And I think that's what you have there, cask seven. Yep. yep. I've got um, cask number 38, which is X Sherry, 39 months old, 53.7%. Okay. 39, so that's kind of young. Um, three years and three months. This is 35 months. Uh, Travis Woolard says, where's Bimber Distillery from? It's London. I believe it's actually in London. Is it not, Jez? Hmm. Christopher Malloy says, that's what she said. Eric, about what, wait, what wow. Bimber is getting a lot of love from whiskey tubers. I just did my tour and review video. And no nonsense whiskey did one as well. All right. So this is what we're trying here. Dennis Lindquist. Lind Link Linkfist. Linkfist. Is I've here. got a floral note here. The ABV is jumping up at me. I would tone this Boy, down with a little water. The maltiness. A lot of malt on the Ooh, sherry nut. On the sherryness. ABV, on the sherry. ABV stinging me. Whiskey whistle. Woo wee. Uh Claire the third's the never heard of here? it. Uh, this is it's brand it's brand new distillery. I believe they just came out with their first release. The nose here, I get a little bit of dry antiseptic. Try the sherry, see if it's any different. A lot of malt, a little the bit of youth. Of course, these are younger. Similar. Yeah, pretty similar. Yeah, no, no, the you know, ABV there burns me. It almost smells like a Texas whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> like a little bit of the sagebrush. That's yeah, it's definitely got a sweeter nose to it. Uh, and Eric Waite says that Food Quake visited Denver recently as well. Hmm. This one, when I nose it, I've got to make sure I've opened my mouth a little bit. Otherwise, it's burning my nasal passages. Um, and Dram Man Kentucky, KY, is saying, I was thinking the other day, do they have a peated new make? What's the proof? I usually prefer higher proof, younger peat. Me so too. this one is new make peated. You, you, want, me, brother. you want to take a look at it? Sure. I was thinking we would try the new makes 60 percent ABV. Let's try the new makes last. We'll we'll pop them all open. So 
Wow. Afternoon, Steve A. And Ray Master 7482. Dan E. is tuning in. I get a hard caramel candy flavor in the finish here. Mm. Yep, still. Okay, the sherry one. Ooh. Very malty, but very sweet and strong. A little bit of youth showing. Yep. Um, of course, it's 30... I believe it's 39 months old, so it's not that old. 53.7, cask number 38. Woo! 35 I, months is what you're going into. I think that's going to age very well, though. Mm. Yeah, that nose is sweeter here. I get some kitchen spices. Yeah. And a touch of furniture polish, just to say. <laughs> um... What was I going to, somebody said something. Yeah, Mark Whiskey Whistle is tuning in. Hmm. So uh, in Bart's glass, or wait, well, you got my sherry yeah, one this now. This is your sherry one. Uh, that, that one is cask number 38. It's X sherry. It's only 39 months old. I want it shows some more months. Yeah. yeah, it shows. But I think it's a good example of what's could be. 53.7 percent uh x sherry bart's glass is an x bourbon it's cask number seven which they're getting ready or just released uh which is just a virgin oak 52 percent abv 35 months old a little at this time when these samples were bottled right which we got those when we were in scotland back in may they'd probably been those sample packs had probably been done for a little bit Jez says, Bart, you are going to enjoy the peated new make. Uh, Scott, put some new make in your hands and rub together and smell. Yeah, we've done that before. Yep. I'll tell you, new make is not my forte. I, like, I don't mind it. <laughs> uh, I, yep. uh, I like getting yeah. down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Go to the baseline. What is it before the wood has an impact? What is it before time takes its time? Ear Whiskey. I have not seen, seen you tune in before. He says, hey, Scott Test Dummies. Ron Real TV. That's Ron McCoy. Uh, he just started his own YouTube channel. Ron Real TV. You see him commenting there. Uh, he used to, he, he, I mean, he's followed us for a long time. I don't mean he used to. Right. He's followed us for a long time. He's commented uh, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. He just started his own channel, mm -hmm. Ron Real TV. So check him out. Claire the Third, I may need your connection. Supernova. Oh. New release. Well, that should be, we'll, we'll find that. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to want two or three. But if I can just get one, it'll be nice. And there's one I have not heard of, and that's the 16-year-old peated Glenmorangie. Mm. That'd be neat to try. Would be. All right. Should we try these other two, or do you want to park them? What do you want to do? We uh, have a virgin. No, I think we. Well, we had two virgins and two sherry casks. Okay, I think it. we tried got one it. of each. Got it. Got it. Got We're it. good there. Sorry, I didn't even read them. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Octavio Vite is tuning in. He says, hey, fellas, not tried any Bimber yet. Jez gifted me this uh, set also. Just packing. He's packing up for Texas. Got it. So Excited it's a different, to see us different cast. Just different cast. So yeah. that's cast 33. All right. Well, then we're going to have to go right into this Pete and New Make. Um, let's see here. Uh, Ron Real TV is drinking some Glendronic 15 Revival. Is that the new bottling or the old bottling, Ooh, Ron? Holy moly. And I believe Ron is in Memphis, if I remember right. <laughs> uh, Brian Ooh. Schultz is tuning in, drinking Hibiki 17. How's and that? David Cole, glad to see you guys doing a live show. I'm the annoying guy with comments. Love it. This is Raw New Make. Oh, wow. Yep. Raw New Make for sure. With, I got <laughs> hints of Pete, but that raw new make is right in your face there. I like it. Mark JG, Brian Schultz tuning in. New make gives you a little bit of what I call baby spit. Yeah, it's that sour spit up kind of ness on the nose. Robert Primo. Little acidic. Little acidic is what new make is. 
Oh, oh, and Robert, real quick, he says, safe trip to the dummies. Roy and any of you other guys and gals come in Lone Star State. Yes. Way this weekend. Our weather yes. might not suck so bad. Oh, no. You guys yeah, I think he's come. I think he's talking about the weather last year Ooh. in the Lone Star State in August when we were there. Well, you expect it to be hot in August in Austin. It was super hot. It was so hot, one of the food trucks failed. Ear Whiskey is going to pour a dram of Abelauer Abuna. Nice. That's 57. Good pronunciation. Boy, have we come far. I love yeah. the Bember Peated New Make Whiskey Shared. Sip it. Well, congratulations to Ron. Ron Real TV says uh, uh, the old bottling of the revival. He's still in Memphis. Slowed down on his drinking last year with the addition of his son. He's back mm -hmm. in the game now. Congratulations, Ron. Very nice. All right. You want me Congrats. to sip it? Yep. The, the, Give a little sip. I this is the Bember. New make peated. Victor E. Hello there. That was at Aqua Vitae. I read Aqua Vitae's message. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm just, I'm not a new make fan, mm -hmm. so do not take my facial expressions as gospel. That's interesting. Whiskey Shared is tuning in. You know what? The Pete. That's funny. The Pete's all in the finish. I mean, I got a hint right. of Pete, but the new make overpowers in the forefront. That's actually not too bad. I would not sit around and sip on that, but. I would sip on it. The Pete is there. Yeah, it comes through. The Pete's all over the finish. I mean, it's not, it's not quite ashtray. Well, we'll put our box back up here well. so people can see what we're talking about. People that are tuning in. Bimber. Bimber Distillery Bimber, yeah. in Perfect London. Lighting. London, baby. London. Uh, Jez Body says, congratulations to Octava Vitae for hitting 10,000 subs. Sorry, Roy, had not realized you hit 10K. Good job. Nice. Well done. Wow. Mm. wow. You know he's going to pass us soon. We're big, like 14. Big Dog is tuning in. He says, Monday Night Live. Dummy, this could be like the pre-show. I like it. Monday Night Football. Football. That's a good new make. Mm. Oh, no. That's mm -hmm. good. It's got all the new make you would expect with the P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do Roy not is, buy a new make. Roy's flying into Austin with Vin. No nonsense whiskey. I know um, Jason Mash and Drum is coming down. Of course, Matt from mm -hmm. Whiskey Crusaders. Um, I think Chris Bourbon Sane is coming. Uh, Bobby and Sam, I Whiskey She Wines. I would have been Eric Wait. I would have been an illicit be distiller. Why? I'm just, you just oh. Back in the day, I would have been an illicit distiller. <laughs> I would have. I would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, speaking of mash and drum, there he is. I've got to try the regular new make now. You want to try the regular new make? Yes, you do. Yes, right. you do. All right. Yeah. Illicit. This is not. <laughs> yeah. Aqua Vitae says, change his mind about packing new make as a gift for Scott. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All this facial expression. Bart, you added new make to your uh, top 10 whiskey. I did. To try was, as, you know, it's not a whiskey. Well, it's new make. <laughs> I believe you had a few law rule breaks in yours as well. I did have a couple. So I would say if you if I didn't even realize up, it, though. As you were going a good through. Point. Yeah. It's a good point. But yeah. if people said, come on, it's whiskey. Nobody walks around saying, only us folk walk around saying new make and all that. They would have said that's just a liquor. Well, maybe but, maybe in the day they would have said that's corn. It's not corn. Like white lightning. White lightning. It's some white lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who else, though? Somebody else put White Dog in their top 10 whiskeys to try before you die. Have you have you seen it? Mm, hold on. Whiskey Dick. Nope. Damn. That was just a shot in the dark. Chad and Sarah. Oh, way to go. That. They just posted their uh, 10 whiskeys to try before you die. Before you die. And their number 10, White Dog. Ah, perfect. Yep. But they give you a shout out because they were like, man, we were making our list and we had White Dog on there. And then we watched Bart's 
and he had it as his number 10. He's like, he beat us to the well, punch. It was the first, yeah, because no, yeah. I do reverse order down. I, actually, they weren't really in much of an order. No. It was more experiential. Yeah. Try that. It's with it's a little softer. It does not have the peak kick on top of the white dog. It's a little sweeter. It's a little sweeter with a you know there one white dog really came off as sweet and I got some of the finishing Buffalo tropical Trace. notes in it. Nope. Oh. Waterford Distillery. Ooh, the, yep, well, one yep, of them yep, that yep. came right. Well, no, he had it bottled sitting there when we were at Waterford. Okay. And it was from a region where he said this comes off as more tropical and more fruity. And I had it in the white dog. And got I was it. like, I got it, man. That Irish whiskey tropic. This is that. sweet. This is really good. I actually, I like the peat, but I like the peat aged a little bit. I'm going to tell you that I like mm. this a little bit more because before you're getting the white dog kick and and the peat kick. <laughs> Dude, I could be I could be hiding an illicit still in 1922. <laughs> Aquavite agrees, gives us 9.99 pound for coin mulin fees. I got to take Roy had, uh, mm. well, I tell you what, this would have cost probably about three thousand dollars for Roy <laughs> to have shipped to the UK. Uh, our That's ceramic coins, our ceramic coin challenge coins. Uh, Roy had some made, had them shipped to my place. We're taking to them in Austin, and there's about 75 pounds worth of coins there. You know what's going to happen? Distilleries are going to send me new make. It'll cost them almost nothing. <laughs> you, I mean, you can keep it. I know. You won't want it uh, at all. Yeah. The Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Hey, Brent. Claire the Third calls it out, says the Broncos finally won a game. Thank That's you. right. Maybe we're heading for the yep, Super Bowl. And the Chiefs Champion, lost. Championship. Ooh, we're going out of way. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fall out. We don't fall out. We just roll you with You can drink all that white dog that mm. you want. They can send me some white dog. Yeah, send it. If you if you're a distillery and you want to send some white dog, send it to Bart. He'll drink the snot out of snot it. out of it. Yuck. that's good. I can still taste it. You should be able to. Yeah, I'm just whiskey. I'm not a fan of white dog. Wow, you just like too much oak. Mm, I want some more of that. Uh, uh, Bimber Distillery, we had a few samples from them. I've got cask number three. I'm going to go a little bit more of the X Sherry. Uh, Look at that. Topic of conversation here. So, last fall, Jack Daniels released their Heritage Barrel, single barrel select release. A lot of people, really, we never saw it here. A lot of a lot of people on YouTube, and I know Mash and Drum. Jason is watching. He really liked it. It just showed up here. Hmm. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Talk I should have I should have brought it over today to film. I didn't. I didn't know we were going to film as many as we did. We did. <laughs> we it's done, like an old we done, Monday. Did it. We did it on done. But yeah, I, I mean, it's September of 2018 is when it was released. When it was bottled. Oh. Who's the almost bigger? A, or a year. Who's the bigger Ardbeg fan, Eric or Bart? I'm going to go with Eric. I'm going to give Eric the nod. I did not know I was such a big Ardbeg fan until we did the 16 oh, yeah. blind bottle shootout. And then I was picking Ardbeg's blind. So I didn't know I was an Ardbeg or an Ard Bart or whatever, Bart Beg, until I went blind as I drink new make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he, he, and I think for me, though, too, you were or are the, the more the peat head. Than I'm a peat head, but I actually try not to be a fan of a single, not try to. I'm not a fan of a single distillery. Well, yeah. I mean, I like Until a you went blind. Oh, man. I picked our bag. But I was, too. Uh, yeah. I was, I was picking, too. I was picking some hard bag. True. I don't think as many as you did. Yeah, I was picking them all. And that's when I was like, wow. Because I thought it was a lean to a Freud, and it's hard bag all the way. But I'll give Eric whatever love he has for the distillery. I am curious what their new stills they got in there. I loved sitting out there with Jackie on the pier. That, if anything was going to make me an Ardbeg fan, it was the physical experience of being at Ardbeg. Mm. Um, I wish they would send me their CR bottles direct. <laughs> Just okay. a case would show up. Here you go, dummy. And I'd be like, thank you, Ardbeg. 
Um, I'm not sure what Jez is at. He says, do you have a shard cask finish in the pack? No, we had two uh, virgin oak, two sherry, and then the white, two white dogs. Steve A is passing through town on Wednesday. He wants to know where to stop at, I think, to get the Jack Daniels Heritage barrel. I think um, you're going to buy them out. Well, there's one. I left one on the shelf at Central and Mays, uh, which is out on the west side of town. Um, Saturday, I bought two bottles. Was left Central one. Spirits, Central Wine and Spirits. Yeah, if it's still there, I would imagine that it's at other stores. I also seen it at Jacob at 29th and Rock Road on the east side of town, but they only had one bottle, and I bought it. How they good is put it? Another. I haven't tried it yet. Come Jason on. Mash and Drum really liked it as one of his whiskeys of the year. Really? Yeah. Because what if I were to run out and get it? And then go get it. <laughs> I've got three, though. What? I've got two, and then I bought one for my nephew. Your nephew 67, 67 bucks. Your nephew does not watch the show. Yeah. Which surprised me. Actually, he does watch the show. I don't know why it just showed up here. No, he does. I know. That's why I said that. Oh. I was sitting there going, <laughs> he doesn't watch the show. I'm taking his bottle. We got one to test and one to see what happens with. Hmm. Um, Steve A says it's an amazing whiskey. Don't blame us, blame me for stocking up. I'm not. I wasn't. Oh, I'm not necessarily stocking up. I bought one to review. I bought one just in case, and then and one, one for, for your nephew because yeah. your nephew hooked you up as he traveled yeah. down the northern yeah. parts of the United States. Lot, yeah. yeah. Um, and like I say, it was sixty-seven dollars. So apparently they hadn't. Um, no soldiers left realized. behind. But I'll Scott. guarantee. I think it's probably showed up on the east side of town as well. If it showed up at Central Wine and Spirits and yeah. Jacobs, it's probably at a couple of other stores. Schultz says Ardbeg rocks. It does. What's amazing with Ardbeg is not, although they're good, they're CR releases. What's amazing are their standard releases: Ardbeg Ten, Corey Brecken, and uh, how can I blank? I'm blanking. I've had too much new make. Apparently, it's made me blank. What'd you say? Corey Vrecken. I was reading Hard Big Ten. Corey Vrecken. Uh, Oogie Doll. Oogie. Jesus. Oogie which Dale. I always Oogie say Dale. wrong. Yeah, I know. Oogie Doll. Oogie Dale. Spencer Mav says, I'm here now. Start over. <laughs> Sunday evening scotch is tuning in. Uh, I was looking, though, and I was reading. I kind of chuckled because Claire the Third said, leave no soldiers behind. Yeah. That's when I left, the, left I left it. one yeah. bottle. Hey. Ooh, yeah, it just comes down to the checkbook, and apparently Claire's is pretty deep. It is deep. <laughs> Claire comes in and buys the store. <laughs> yeah, look right, right there. He says he stocked up. He's got 13 bottles. Holy of moly. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Bart bag, drinking hard bag, oogie doll. Yeah, ECBP half ratio. One, or one you know, I don't ratio. I don't buy to resell, though. True. Um, and I always... I, if they had they had multiple bottles, I left one on the shelf right. for someone well, else. Well, we've got plenty of whiskey. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. I mean Oh, and Claire says they were bottled on his birthday. Well, that's, wow. that's good. Bart yeah. got me hooked on the ten year old Dan E. Way to go, Dan. We got a show coming up where He's we He's talking actually, about the ten year old whiskey. Ten year old hard bag. The ten yeah. Thank you. Good good point. Yeah. Dan did not get hooked on ten year olds. <laughs> That's just wrong. There's Juliet tuning in. Juliet hey, Miranda. Good Juliet evening, Miranda. The boys. We were on her show. I had a blast. Yeah. Uh, she had a live stream. Had us on last week. Go check that out. You bet. It's good Q&A. Check out her channel, Juliet Miranda. We had a fun time. Rod J. Beer yeah. Ventures is tuning in. Cheers, he says. I got this at the down in New Orleans, Dan, and we use that to measure out uh, for a show you'll see in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Mash and Drum says, love the Heritage bottle. Most surprising whiskey the last year. God, I'm digging this new make. Yeah. You no, know, it's got a sweet candiness. I like it. I better cut back, though. That's sweet a good. Candies. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good new make. The non peated one, I really like. 60% ABV. You know what's bad is I may have liked it more than the one that's been in the Virgin Oak. 
Where's the glass with the virgin? Oh, I try a, yeah. I've been drinking on the sherry. The oh, my sherry. goodness. That. They need to quit just doing test batches and just put this out and call it London Lightning. That's what I would call it. I would call it London in a bottle. Maybe call it, uh, what year was this put out? It's got to be 2018, 2019. I'd call it the the, the 2019 Blitz. <laughs> uh, Juliet, we still want to know what that hairband was, too. Yeah, hairband. <laughs> oh, David Cole really enjoyed the Oogie Doll. Oogie Doll. Yeah, it's good. Um, do, 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 do. Did we try the Beagle Rare? Yes, we did. That got shot today. Yep. That might be uh, the one that I just showed the shot glass with. On who knows what we poured back in. <laughs> what do you got? Juliet. Never says, tell. LOL, never tell. Yeah. Nanette Serafica. Never seen, I haven't seen Nanette Serafica tune in before. Hello, cool. guys, watching from the Philippines. Well, hello back well, hello to the Philippines. Hello from the Philippines. Love the Philippines. Sunday evening, Scott says Oogie is his favorite of the Ardbeg core Oogie's range. good. Again, that's why I would tell you Ardbeg is one of my favorites, is their core range hits them out of the park. And uh, so even if you can't get a CR bottle of whatever type you want, you really – I mean, you may be missing something here or there on the finer notes, but the Corey Vrecken, the Oogie Doll, and the Standard 10, unbelievable, and you can get them anytime you want them. So um, um, that's as it should be if you want my opinion. You're crazy about the White Dog, too, because even the Virgin Oak is better. Let me sip it again. I don't I don't think you had enough of the non-peated White Dog. Look at that. Eep. Eep. I'm telling you, illicit still. If we went back in time, I'd be, well, actually, I probably wouldn't be running the still. I'd be friends with the guy running the still. <laughs> uh, David Cole says he wishes Dark Cove would become a regular. You know, I kind of, uh, I don't. I like it being that special. I mean, if they could, well. I like that so they're good. playing around. It's they're so playing good. around, but you're not missing out when you try the Oogie and the Corey Brecken. And the we, 10. Okay. We did a 16 bottle blind shootout. Though, yes, Pete. we did. And um, what did we pick? March Peat Madness. Right. And Go check that Hard out. Big Dark Cove Committee release one. It did. Blind. It did. Then we did another 16 bottle shootout of other peated whiskeys. Mm -hmm. uh, the Peat Strikes Back. That was a fun one. And we advanced the best from each 16 bottle shootout to face off against each. Right. Against each so other. So we did two. Then we put the best of those the two against each other. The best of the best of the best. Right. And, and uh, make America peat it again. Right. And, and we had a whole Obama thing too. Ardbeg Dark Cove <laughs> committee release one. one. Again. And we both, both picked it. Both. Blind. Blind. So. That's hard to argue with. It, it's good. Ardbog might contest it. When we did the uh, the Ardbeg right lineup, I did like the bog out of the the, the real expensive strong. ones. I got Ardbog is strong. Yeah, the force is strong. The peat is strong in the bog. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, running is still low and slow is the key. Well, I would agree. OG brick four twenty, or would it be og brick? Uh, just like cooking a ham in the oven, you're making me hungry, brother. Low and slow. Oh, nice. I did. You want was to see there, Well, Jez is saying it was... Um, well, where did it just go? He's got him at. now. It's moving. Oh, we're sorry. Correction. Comments. Recharge cask. All we had was a virgin. Okay. Um, we had two virgin <whistles> oaks, uh, cask number 33 and cask number 7. And then we had two X Sherry's, cask number 26. Now, five liter mania says our bag needs to release a 10 ca tenure cast strength. That would be good. And cask 38. He would be a happy camper. I would agree with that. Give it, give us a cast strength, and I would like that as well. Here's our baggy tuning in. Ooh. Andy, we met Andy over in Scotland. Yes, we at did. The, at the tasting and at the Bon Accord, hung out. Victor E says he agrees that the bog is closest to Cove. See, I don't know if I could put it closest to Cove, but I liked it. Yeah. I like I you would so. put it close to Cove. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. 
I didn't have it. I didn't have that when we did our uh, 16, well, when we did our doubles. Yeah. Jay Chung is in. Evening, he says to Ard Beggy. Sorry, I was reading Ard Beggy's yeah. comment. And told Thomas. Uh-huh. Just no, Lloyd, Bart, there. but he's yelling it. Bart, did you see Joker? I have not, but I've been hearing the acting's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Have you seen it? I have not. I will. I heard it's got a slow burn, but the acting's phenomenal. What's his first mm -hmm. time? I know it's River Phoenix's brother. But Joe Hoquin. Joe Quinn. Yeah, I can never say it right. I don't know how to pronounce it. I know. It. Joe Quinn. I'd take the J silent. Hoquin. Hoquin? Hoquin Phoenix. He was good. I liked him in Joe Gladiator. He does. He plays parts mm -hmm. well. Because mm -hmm. I hated him in Gladiator, but he was so good. Mm -hmm. but then, uh, he was, then the Demon Hunter is tuning in. He was so weird on Letterman. John Belushi. I can't believe John Belushi is tuning in. <laughs> he has for a while. John's been around for a while tuning in. So. Lots of Joker walkouts? Really? OG Joker Brick. Well, so it's it triggering a lot of people because it's so triggering. Yeah. It's so out there. The <laughs> violence. Joaquin. And the Joaquin says Chris Malloy. Yeah. How could OG someone Brick what? be so Joaquin. how could someone be so detached and so violent? I must leave the theater. You're it's kidding. So That's triggering. what makes Joker so dangerous. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if you're he's... easily triggered. That's who's walking out of Joker. Well, I will say, um, dang it! See, this is where you shine and I don't. Dude that played him in the Batman uh, uh, Returns played the Joker, who then died right afterward from the overdose. Oh, that wasn't Joker. That was sorry. Uh, no, he played Joker. Well, he played or, Joker, sorry. but not Batman Returns. Right. That was um, um, the. Uh, they're gonna have it on there. Gosh, he was awesome. Heath, Heath Ledger. Yeah, you name. liked What's him the in Brokeback. Broke Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> right, what was it? What was it? But yeah, Heath Ledger was phenomenal. I know. Someone will name it. Yeah, Heath Ledger, Mike has put on there. What, which Batman was that, though? I'm blanking on it. It was the yeah, second I'm blanking one. on the name of the movie. Because you had... With, well, with Christian Bale. The second right, one with Christian right. Bale. Both of them were good. Batman. My boy wanted to watch that a little bit. Batman said, Begins. Begins. Yeah. He was so evil and dark. Oh, no, now. The Dark Knight. That's the it. Dark Knight. Yeah. He was, so, was the first one. he was so evil in that. He did such a good job. Batman is twisted and jacked up. So now I'm curious. Batman or the Joker? Sorry. The well, Joker. Both, both are quite yeah. honestly. They're the yin and the yang. They're both just nuts. I was actually in the Dark Knight, dark Knight Rises. What are you talking about, Malloy? You're like a extra. Must have been. Yeah. Uh, Mark JG has to go. He says got to run. Can't wait to have some drams with us this weekend. So he must be in Austin. We'll see you there. Look at that. We'll see you there. Now I'm now I'm all interested with Chris Malloy. Yeah. Uh, Key and O'Hara like, yep. just watched Joker tonight. Wow, Chris, you got a story you got to tell us later. I want to know more. <laughs> yeah, Velvet Elvis, Dan. Danny, is that a board game, Velvet Elvis? It could be. <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up. All right, we could go all day. I could wrap be sipping, sipping some new. I know we could sit here. I like talk. that new bank. Just talk to everybody. I think we should. We should just meander. Mike 06422, The Dark Knight. What we should do is have a uh, how long can you make us meander? And we've got to get like a uh, super chat every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we kill the feed. <laughs> Oh, peace, launch, uh, Eric, wait, cheer, cheers, all. Everybody's like a scratch ball. Um, uh, great seeing y'all, Juliet. All right, should we? Yep, we should. Gotcha. You Good scotch out. gods. Solange. Dummies. Three more sleeps. That sounds like a military term for aquavitae.